Is this a Google killer? Will it terminate jobs? Is this the end of blogging? Or, will it wipe out programming jobs? These are the questions that knock every mind when we talk about ChatGPT. Within six days of its launch, ChatGPT surpassed a million users to the extent its servers couldn't keep up. In this video, you will get an overview of this technology to understand whether it is a revolution or just a buzzword. ChatGPT is a chatbot launched by OpenAI in November 2022. It stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is built on top of OpenAI's GPT 3.5 family of large language models, and is fine-tuned with both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. It is making waves when it comes to all the amazing things it can do, from writing music, to coding, to generating vulnerability exploits, and whatnot. I am Assistant, a large language model trained by OpenAI. I am not a person but a program designed to assist with answering questions and providing information on a wide range of topics. My training allows me to understand and generate human-like text, but I don't have personal experiences or unique knowledge outside of what I've been trained on. ChatGPT is amazing and powerful. You raise a query by typing in some text and it replies you with the best possible answer in plain text. Let's ask ChatGPT some questions to address the concerns presented at the beginning of this video. Are you a Google killer? I am an artificial intelligence trained to assist with a variety of tasks and answer questions to the best of my ability. I do not have the ability to browse the internet or access real-time information, so I am not able to compete with search engines like Google. My primary function is to provide general knowledge and guidance to users based on the information that has been trained into me. Is there something specific you would like to know? Will you take away programming jobs? Artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms have the potential to automate certain tasks and processes, and in some cases, they may be able to perform tasks that were previously done by humans. However, it is important to note that AI is not a replacement for human intelligence and creativity, and there are many tasks that can only be performed by humans. In the field of programming, AI and machine learning can be used to automate certain tasks and make certain processes more efficient. For example, AI might be able to assist with code completion or suggest corrections for errors, but it is unlikely to be able to fully replace the role of a human programmer. There are many tasks that require creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking skills that are unique to humans, and these skills will continue to be in demand in the field of programming. It is also important to note that the use of AI and machine learning in programming can create new job opportunities, as there is a growing demand for professionals with expertise in these areas. So while AI may change the way that some tasks are performed, it is not likely to completely replace the need for human programmers. Will you replace human bloggers? Artificial intelligence has the potential to automate certain tasks and processes, and in some cases, it may be able to perform tasks that were previously done by humans. However, it is important to note that AI is not a replacement for human intelligence and creativity, and there are many tasks that can only be performed by humans. In the field of blogging, AI may be able to assist with certain tasks, such as researching and gathering information or suggesting ideas for blog posts. However, it is unlikely to be able to fully replace the role of a human blogger. Blogging requires a deep understanding of language, creativity, and the ability to communicate ideas effectively. These are skills that are unique to humans, and they are essential for creating high-quality content that engages and resonates with readers. It is also important to note that the use of AI in blogging can create new job opportunities, as there is a growing demand for professionals with expertise in this area. So while AI may change the way that some tasks are performed, it is not likely to completely replace the need for human bloggers. If you want to give a try to this free AI application, 
Then head over to chat.openai.com. Sign up for a free account. You can also use your Google account to use this application. So this is the main interface. The examples section has some sample questions that you can initially try to put ChatGPT to test. You also have some details here about the capabilities and limitations. Let's take a look at all of this. So in terms of the capabilities, the ChatGPT system actually remembers what you requested in previous conversations. Now be aware that this is the conversation thread that you are currently having. If you have started a new conversation thread, then the previous conversation won't be remembered. It also allows you to do follow-ups and corrections. So for example, if you didn't get the answer that you were looking for, then you can always ask for another one or just re-prompt for a different option. ChatGPT is also trained to decline requests that it deems negative or inappropriate. So if for example, you're asking for something malicious, mostly it will not provide that. However, there are odd situations where it might accidentally do this. The limitations section describes some of the problems that you might encounter when using ChatGPT. Firstly, some of the generations might actually be inaccurate. It may also occasionally produce harmful instructions. And, it is only trained based on the information of the last couple of years. Currently it is trained for events just towards 2021. This means that it won't have up-to-date information of relevant and current facts that are happening in the world. So it's not yet capable to have access to the internet and right now it is in an offline state. After having this brief overview of ChatGPT, we can now actually start taking a look at using ChatGPT. The first thing is that using ChatGPT is very simple. All we have to do is enter in a message or a query or a prompt of what we want the AI ChatGPT to do for us and then we get an output. These are a few examples as buttons that you can use with mouse clicks. They are basically asking what quantum computing is or how to make a HTTP request in JavaScript. Let's try one of these examples. Click the third one. Hit this arrow icon. ChatGPT will start to respond to your query. After responding to the query, it also writes a relevant JavaScript function with comments to describe the statements used in the function. After writing the function, it provides the details. For this scenario, it writes another alternative example using the fetch function. As you just experienced, ChatGPT is very smart and this example proved that it has the capability to assist developers in their programming efforts and can make their lives really easy to perform daunting tasks. ChatGPT can also assist you in building SQL statements to query databases. Let's have a look at this scenario. We are requesting ChatGPT to create a SQL select statement that fetches only top 4 employees from the database with highest salaries. The request is efficiently entertained by ChatGPT with details. As you can see the select statement is a bit complex as it has a sub-query. Let's make another request and ask ChatGPT to make it more simple. Again, ChatGPT was able to accede to our request with a much simple SQL statement that fulfills the same purpose. Right now ChatGPT doesn't have the ability to provide us with the latest news around the world. It doesn't work in real time. For example, this part of the video is created on December 28, 2022 after the FIFA World Cup 2022 which was won by Argentina on December 18th, if we ask ChatGPT about this event.
then, this is the response from ChatGPT. Which means that it doesn't have real-time information. Now this is another question about the recent snowstorm in the US. This natural disaster is also not in the knowledge of ChatGPT. Although ChatGPT doesn't have real-time information, it still has the ability to assist you in so many areas. For example, if you are a writer, a book author, student, or a blogger, this AI application is the best place to get plagiarism-free content. It is also capable to write programming scripts in multiple languages. Here is an example in which we request ChatGPT to write a website script in Python with file read write and take user input functionalities. First, it provides information about the frameworks required to create such script in Python. Then, it provides us with all the steps involved in creating a website with a Python script. Then we request it to generate the script in Flask framework. It cannot just write code in multiple languages, it can also translate and debug it. Let's test this as well. Copy the code and put it in the prompt. Manipulate the read function. Now request ChatGPT to find and correct the error in this code. The magic starts. Not only the error is rectified by this smart man, you are informed about the error details. ChatGPT can also translate your code in some other language. For example, you can translate the above Python code in Node.js like this. Ok, so if you're a full stack developer with a long experience behind you, then you have nothing to worry about, because it will take another 5 to 10, maybe 20 years to completely replace a full stack programmer with such AI application. But if you're in an entry level position that just do all the footwork for the senior programmers, or your income is freelancing from tasks like web design or simple Python scripts, then you are in the red zone. ChatGPT has the potential to revolutionize education. It could be used for personalized tutoring. As a virtual tutor it can answer any questions you have with customized explanations and guidance. It can also help improve the overall efficiency of teachers. By tutoring students in the virtual realm, answering all their common queries, providing them with course material, evaluating their work and mapping their progress to give individual feedback, it can play the role of the perfect teacher's assistant. Overall ChatGPT has the potential to revolutionize education by providing personalized on-demand support for students of all levels. It has the potential to make learning more accessible, efficient, and effective for everyone. ChatGPT can also be used to improve commercial activities. You can use it as customer service chatbot. As a sales assistant. As a marketing content generator and as a content curation tool. The genie is out of the bottle. Now it's up to you how you command it. Don't take our word for any of it. Spin up the AI bot in your browser at chat.openai.com. Who knows what you'll discover? That's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.